Now we're going to discuss climate changes. There are several events that shift climate patterns for a short time, perhaps a year or so. One is when the temperature of ocean waters change, specifically in the Pacific Ocean, where in normal times cold water streams move upward to the surface, like this. The trade winds blow the surface waters westward. But when the streams move downward, the cold waters do not reach the surface, at least not as much as before. So surface waters become warmer than normal, as shown by the orange and yellow pattern. This warming is part of what's called an El Nino event. During El Nino periods, the westward-moving trade winds weaken, and the warm surface waters of the Pacific, which help create rainfall, spread to the east. Meanwhile, rain clouds disappear in the western Pacific without the arrival of the moisture-laden trade winds. This lack of rain results in severe droughts in the western Pacific, as well as a large number of range fires fed by dry grass. At the same time, flooding often occurs in Peru in South America, where the warm, moist air builds up and then falls back to earth as rain. Some of that warm, moist air also moves northward to North America, where winters in the Midwestern U.S. often become mild and more damp than normal. Sometimes the cold water stream surges upward at a greater degree than is usually the case. In these so-called La Nina events, cold surface waters, seen in light blue, spread to the west. The warmer surface waters at the head of the surge, in orange, are pushed westward by trade winds, and heavy rains and stormy weather are seen more frequently in the western Pacific regions. Besides variations in the flow and temperature of ocean waters, volcanoes can cause short-term climate changes too. The thousands of tons of sulfuric particles that are thrown into the atmosphere when a large volcano erupts can spread thousands of miles as atmospheric winds carry them across the globe. These particles can block sunlight and in doing so can lower temperatures. Activity on the sun also affects climate. Many scientists believe that sunspots and solar flares may increase the Earth's temperature temporarily. Many scientists also believe that increased amounts of the gas carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere may be responsible for global warming. Carbon dioxide is a byproduct of burning fossil fuels to heat and cool buildings. Carbon dioxide also comes from burning gasoline and other fossil fuels to run cars, boats, trains, and airplanes. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, slows the escape of heat from the Earth's surface by radiating it back to the ground. During the past 150 years, it's estimated that the atmospheric carbon dioxide level around the Earth has increased about 25 percent, in part a result of increased fossil fuel use and in part the result of rainforest destruction. Rainforest trees absorb carbon dioxide. 